Okay, I've been asked to about how to wire up the KK mini board, so I'm going to do a short um, video here of trying to show how I wired it up. You can see I've made, I'm just showing here on my screen, but this is the KK mini. You've got your motors over here, and then you've got your um, your connections to your receiver. Now, uh, I took a schematic here of um, a regular uh, KK2 board, and you can see the motors here are the same. They're uh, white, red, and black. Black you always want on the edge. That's the ground or the negative. Uh, over here, you can see uh, with the KK Mini to save space, they only have the uh, what the, the signal is. They don't have a uh, actually any power connections at all. Uh, except for uh, two places. I'll show you that in a minute. Now if I uh, scroll up here, you can uh, hopefully see this is the uh, this is the uh, KK2 board and they show the motors which are the same M1 through M8. But And here's the ones for the KK2. But if you look over here to the uh, Mini, this is the bottom part of it. Uh, hopefully you can see it. As you can see, you have uh, a different configuration. It's aux, rudder, uh, aileron, uh, no, ele uh, elevator, aileron, throttle, the plus, and the ground. You don't have the three pins. So what I did for that uh, is I essentially uh, used three uh, servo uh, connections. And so you can see here's a quick way of looking at the transmitter. It may not be easy to see, but um, you have your servo connection and you have your black, red, and your yellow, which is your signal. Okay, and you're going to essentially, uh, what you want to do is turn that um, this way. It actually plugs into there. My first one is like that. And then it plugs down at the bottom down here. You essentially see the negative, the positive, and signal. So basically it's oriented in a vertical position here. And then I just put in uh, the brown, the uh, positive, and then the signal. So essentially I've made uh, ground, V plus, and throttle. Now the other ones are the aileron um, elevator and rudder. And so what I'm doing there is I'm essentially putting that sideways like this and so it's not vertical but it's horizontal and then i'm putting it vertical here to match up with the uh with the signals that leaves me one other one the auxiliary which i don't have and basically what i did is i just plugged it in vertical and i've only got it connected to the last pin here and the other two aren't being used so hopefully that helps you understand uh, how it's wired. Unfortunately, I'm still having problems with uh, the um, tricopter spinning violently. I just broke a pop. I'll send probably, I'll have a video later on the problem. But anyway, I just wanted to go over how this is wired. Uh, if you got any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Thanks.